Hey everybody, Winstreak here. Today's question comes from Isido. Uh, they're looking to calculate the distance that a unit travels. And not sure if there's a built-in one for this, but I did make my own. Um, so without further ado, we'll hop in. And we have nothing here except the global. This will hold our total distance traveled. And then on our screen we have text. This will be our hero who just runs back and forth. We'll have a speed up button, a stop button, and a go button. And looking at the code, we're going to start our hero moving back and forth. Um, I did set the hero with move to behavior. Uh, so you do that through behavior, add new behavior, move to, and we're going to use that to move them. So on start a layout, we're just going to start them off moving to the right. And set move to position. And where is that at? Move to position, and we're going to move him to 700 on the X, and then we're going to keep him where he is on the Y, so hero dot Y. And hero, anytime he arrives at a location, we're going to throw this little check, and this will just be to make him walk back and forth. So we'll add a sub event. If hero X position is greater than 500, we want them to move to the left, so I'm going to bring this down here, and we're just going to change this to 100x, and that'll make a move left. And whenever it's less than 500, we'll make a move back to the right. And now he'll just endlessly run back and forth. And every tick, we want to update our movement, so we're going to set the text here. And let's see, we want to track our current speed just so we can see that speed affects how fast uh, or how many distance units they travel. So we'll have speed and we'll need a new line. And then we'll have total distance. And we should already have this one solved. So this will be our hero dot move to dot speed and we have a space set for this which will be our total distance traveled but that won't do anything yet so as of now we move back and forth we'll calculate our current speed I'm just gonna set that to an int so it's not gross and essentially you just write int here and then enclose it in there and that'll take all the decimals and just round it to an int for us so we get numbers only and we'll count up and it goes to 200 uh, because we have it set to a max speed of 200 and it takes about one second to get up to 200 because it accelerates at 200 a second um, alright moving on I'm going to set the buttons for on click to speed up our guy uh, stop our guy and then have them continue. So on object click and we'll grab go first just because it was the first one I saw. Hero move to and we're just going to enable it. And this should do nothing currently because he starts out enabled but once we get the stop in here then it'll be how we get him going again. So we're going to uncheck that one and then once more and I'm just Copy pasting control V or control C control V uh, just get a new line. It's just a shortcut since I'm going to reuse most of the code and speed up and then this one will take the hero and add to um, uh, we're going to set max speed to hero dot move speed or move to dot max speed plus 50 and this just means when we click it it'll be whatever it was plus 50 more that way we can click it a bunch of times and have it gradually go up now I also want to do this with the acceleration so we're gonna set acceleration to and instead of max speed we want max acceleration actually just acceleration and plus 50 as well and now we can throw these in here. We see the speed goes up to 200. We can make it go higher. 
and each time it hits it stops again so it has to reaccelerate and we can stop and we can make them keep going and now we just need to calculate <coughs> so we are going to every tick oh we already have an every tick we will set the total distance value and we'll add to it and we will take our hero dot move to dot speed and we'll divide by something let's say 6000 and we can see how we like this and then uh, this will work and then it will break when we stop them and then obviously we'll want to set that to an int as well but if you look when we stop it keeps counting and that's not what we want so first off we're gonna throw an int around this and I already had the parentheses so that's done and I'm gonna make a new every tick and then also check to see if the hero is enabled and that means as long as he is moving we want to be counting up so now that'll put that in there and missing out on something here oh um so this is never this is never above one and it rounds down every time so that's why that didn't move anywhere so undo that and we're going to actually fix that in the text portion so our total distance will be an int and i'll see if i can explain that better so essentially every s about 60 times a second this calculates and adds it on right now it's giving me like point zero something point zero zero something maybe over and over again a bunch of times a second and if i put an int on there each one rounds down but if i put the int up here the value keeps growing but it only shows me as it breaks the next integer so now we can do it and we'll see it slowly climbs once we're at max speed it moves a lot faster and we can pump that up a bunch and we can stop it and we see it stops and we can set it to go again and set it to go and then depending on what you want to do you can edit this distance to add up a lot faster or a lot slower it's really up to you so just by changing the equation right here now it'll be 20 times faster all right uh, hopefully that answers all your questions let me know if you have any more in the channel have a good one